If you're used to using the behavior flow report in Universal Analytics, then you may have wondered where uh, you can report on how users are moving through a website in GA4. Or you may have discovered what I'm about to show you, but been a little stymied on its sort of functionality or lack thereof. Um, I don't, I never love the behavior flow report in Universal Analytics, if I'm being honest, but I did get the hang of it. Uh, and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks uh, so that you can get back most of the functionality uh, that you had in, in Universal Analytics, plus a few things that you couldn't do in, in Universal Analytics. Uh, so the, the report I'm going to show you is in Explorations. There is not something like the Behavior Flow Report in regular reporting. We have to create an exploration to do it. And I'm going to come here and then I'm going to create a path exploration. So you might have gotten to this point and I, it's, I think the first thing I'll say that took me a little while to get the hang of is this is meant to be an interactive report. Like this is not meant to be a report that you look at, that you share with, with your boss or whatever. This is meant to be a report where you can go and look at, at different details. Um, and so here the default is it starts with session start. Um, the, then we have events, events, the first thing I'll show you is, is that you can change this, uh, which I pretty much always do. Because seeing a sequence of event names, I think, is mostly not helpful. Uh, so I might go to um, page path. So now I can see from the home page where do people, where are people most like, or sorry, from the beginning of the session, session start, that's the starting event, where are people most likely to go? Um, or B, really, because it's the beginning of the session. So it is the home page. So, but then I can click on here and I can see where people go from the home page. Uh, and then maybe I imagine sign in. You know, nothing gets tracked after that. Um, but we can see sort of men's apparel and we can expand from here. So, first off, you can change this node type. Second of all, second, you can expand it by clicking on different nodes. Um, so that's interesting, but what, what if you want to start somewhere different? Um, that, that part I found really confusing. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out that I had to click on stuff to expand things out. Um, the, the, the key that I'll show you is this start over is really helpful. So let's go ahead and start over. So now what I can do is I can create a new starting point and I could do that session start. Something that I think is actually really useful is like when we're trying to understand paths is to pick a specific page and see people work, go from that page. And I imagine um, that's something you'd like to be able to do. So we were looking at that Google redesign apparel men's. This is just as an example. Let's pick that. So now this is going to show me the path from this page. Not necessarily that somebody began a session. The session start event is that, um, if we wanted to just see that, and I'll actually show you that in, in, a, in, a, in a minute, um, how you could, could recreate if somebody actually started on this page. So from here, then I can see where they're most likely to go from this page. I can expand that out. So that's kind of handy, right? So click that start over button and you can pick your own starting point and you can pick a specific page. Let's go back and I'm going to start over again. And I'm going to say, I am going to do this, um, the session start. Then I'm going to change this to page path of the screen class. And then I'm going to pick that, um, let's see, just on a different page here. Uh, we'll do, let's say Google redesign apparel. Well, the thing I want to show you is that I can come here if there's a specific page that I'm interested in. So it can be a little tedious. There's not great um, navigation. Um, but let's see if I wanted to do, 
just apparel. I can narrow it down. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect that and I'm going to apply that. Let's see. And then to unselect these. Okay, so now it's just showing me that page. If I'm just really interested in people who started on that page, so now we have sort of from the landing page, that's the equivalent of what we've just done. The, um, so you can see that I can actually start to create like a path, but like what's the likelihood of somebody going from this page to this page to this page? Because I could start to pick specific pages here as well. And I can also add more. Um, which is helpful. So it's going to by default show the top five, but I could add more if I wanted to. The other thing I wanted to show you is if we start over, I can actually pick an ending point. So in this case, I think this is really powerful. I'm going to pick an ending point and let's say I want to see when somebody adds something to their cart, where did they come from? Well, I have to load more events. It's not showing the add to cart event. Still not showing the add to cart event. Scroll down and we still not showing the oh here we go add to cart. Enough of right on it. Okay, so now this is showing me events leading up to that. So one thing you can imagine is if you wanted to look at sort of checkout behavior, you could have purchase be the event, and then you could do your checkout steps and create a little checkout funnel that way. In my case, since I'm picking add to cart, I'm going to look at what pages are people most likely to add to cart from. So I'll go back to page path and screen class. And then again, what I can do if I'm interested in seeing previous steps is I can click on that and I can expand it out. Um, so pretty handy. You can start to construct paths. The other thing that I'll show you with path explorations is, or with explorations in general, that I think is really handy is I could start to, like this could be, I could name this, um, uh, I don't know, add to cart um, funnel, something like that. Um, and then I could go and start to create other path explorations for different types of paths through the site. So I might want to analyze like where people go from the home page and start to break down and do what I just showed you by I can actually start to specify and see sort of uh, people go one way versus another way. Um, a couple other features I'll show you and then um, encourage you to play around. Uh, just getting past that A it's interactive be clicking that start over you have a lot more control over what you're looking at um, the segments can be really handy so i can apply segments much like i could in universal analytics um, so if i just wanted to see paid traffic i can do that and um, i guess i guess that's about it so anyway have fun poking around <laughs>